Yeah, Tracy, quite a bit of buzz here at City Hall. And you know what? Here's the thing. Those positions will likely have to be filled. I'll get to that a little bit later. But first, let's talk about these two now mayoral candidates. Derek Green, he's a former Philadelphia prosecutor, former small business owner before he went to council. And then you have Maria Quinones Sanchez. She's a former nonprofit executive, founder of a charter school. And then she spent 15 years on city council. And by the way, Maria Quinones Sanchez, if she were to become mayor, she would be not only the first woman, but the first woman of color. As of today, today is my last day of city council. This is one of the last few days Maria Quinones Sanchez will spend in the city council office as she packs up upon declaring her resignation to run for Philadelphia mayor. Down the hall, Derek Green is doing the same as he too is leaving his council member position to run for the higher office. Today, the two reflected on their accomplishments over the years inside these council chambers. I introduced income based payment plans both in our tax system um, as well as in our water department. I really have to think about this most recent budget where you know I authored the Green Plan, which allowed us to reduce taxes for small businesses and residents to the lowest level we've seen in decades, but we still provided more funding for police officers and also to address public safety. What do you see as the biggest issues in Philadelphia that the next mayor is going to have to tackle? Well, you know, we, we all have a concern around public safety. Public safety. For many in Philadelphia, that means the unprecedented homicide rate the city experienced last year and the ongoing gun violence crisis. Critics have viewed a lack of a coordinated response from Philly's top brass as problematic. How significant is that to you to address that issue of making sure that those three top positions in the city of Philadelphia, mayor, DA, police commissioner, are all unified. Well, I think that is the most important role a mayor can play. We have uh, a dysfunctional public safety portfolio because we are not uh, working towards a common vision. That's hard for a community to constantly deal with. Each office has certain skills and abilities. So let's take the best of each, pull them together, work with the community. While the two share a similar sentiment about truly bringing resources together, they differ in their approach to managing crime. We need a robust ca camera program that's preventive. We need lighting um, beyond our commercial corridors to create the safety. We know blight um, is tied into safety. What's your plan? Well, we've got to help people to put down guns and pick up paychecks. And we'll hear more from Derek Green tomorrow. He plans to expand on that plan of putting down guns and picking up paychecks at a formal news conference tomorrow morning at a barber shop in West Philadelphia. Now, what happens next in terms of these open positions? Well, really, that falls on to the council president, Daryl Clark, his position. He has the authority to declare a special election, but he has a time frame in which he has to do it. That window is coming up very soon. A lot of City Hall insiders expect that he may declare a special election for the district council seats that are now open as opposed to the at-large seats. That could happen a little bit later on down the road, of course. We'll keep you posted. Reporting live outside of City Hall, I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC10 News.